mentioned this in the description of my last video, but today we are making a rehearsal body skirt. So it's not really going to be the classic kind of wraparound skirt. It's going to be more like a two layer chiffon skirt. And I like to use these ones instead of the wrap skirts for rehearsals because you can't see like your crooked knees and all that. So they make you feel more like in character. So we are doing this new show in my theater called Fernflower. And I'm dancing the main role. So naturally I got very excited and I bought <laughs> this leotard. And it's so pretty and it has all these flowers on it. And I love it. <laughs> but I've had it for a couple weeks and I don't wear it because I don't have anything to wear with it. So I decided to make two skirts for it. One is going to be out of this green material. It was supposed to be a little bit cooler, but I think it's going to be fine. <laughs> and this is going to be the long knee length one. And I'm going to make the second one and it's going to be shorter so that I can wear it to lessons as well. And I would totally tell you to vote which one you want to see first, but I currently have exactly zero followers on Instagram. So that's not really going to work, so... Um, we're gonna do the green one. For now we can start cutting and, and we'll figure it out as we go. For this one you're gonna need about three running meters of your chosen material and that's because we're doing two layers of chiffon and yes we are using meters because I live in Europe. So we're gonna start out by cutting two circles out of our material and we do this by folding it once in half and then again in half. For that you're gonna take your measuring tape and just slide it along the material and then you might want to pin it in place so that all the layers are not moving when you're cutting. You will want to cut another circle out of the middle. I do it at 15 centimeters. You need the opening to be wide enough to fit through your hips. You can make it bigger if you want the skirt to be more gathered, but you can't make it smaller unless you want to rip it the first time you put it on. Next, you're going to mark how long you want your elastic to be, but don't cut it yet. You'll also need a 10 centimeter wide strip of fabric the length of your inner circle circumference. You're gonna sew it to the two layers at the top, Flip it to the other side, put the elastic inside, and then top stitch on the right side, folding the edge underneath. Then it's best to safety pin the end of your elastic near the opening, uh, the one that you left even though I failed to tell you to leave it open, and tuck on the other side of the elastic until you reach the mark that you made earlier. You'll now want to cut it and sew the two ends together, but keep in mind to make sure it's not all wobbled on the inside before you do. The last thing you'll need to do is adjust the length. As you can see, even though I measured and cut my fabric very meticulously, it still fell out a lot, which is typical for this type of fabric. So it's a good practice to let it sit overnight before hemming the edges. I'm a procrastinator, so at least this comes naturally to me. And I lied, the last thing is finishing the edges. The lazy way is to just slide it over a flame and it stops the fraying. And here's the finished thing. I really like how it turned out, although the only thing I kind of wish the color matched a little bit better, like it was a bit of a cooler, more like sage green, but you never really know what you're gonna get when you're ordering online. And I can finally <laughs> wear this Leotard to practice because now I have something to wear with it. So thank you for sticking around and I hope you can make one of your own if you wish. You could also totally make it as a regular skirt. I hope you liked it and I will see you next week. Bye.